Electricity 24-7. That's what everybody in Iraq wants. And Haditha Dam, in Iraq's western desert, is part of the solution and part of the problem. Though the hydroelectric dam was completed in 1986, it was poorly maintained. On this day, the dam is only putting out 160 megawatts. That's 500 megawatts short of full capacity. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is leading major repairs on two of the dam's six turbine generators. But it has no control over the water level of the Euphrates River, which also impacts power output. Transmission is also an issue. In the belly of the dam, these 400 kilovolt lines to Al Anbar province are plugged in. But the line to Baghdad ends in a stub. Right now, power lines are being strung across the desert and may be ready by summer. Uh, we're putting in the um, 400 kilovolt lines uh, throughout the different regions of the country. I mean, it really needs that juice to be able to continue to grow and prosper. Two Corps of Engineers employees actually live and work inside the dam's 16-story labyrinth. Bob McKechnie's focus is training the Iraqi workforce. They may have one or two people on a shift that fully understand what the problems are and the others are are just coming on board and it's going to take a lot of on-the-job training and, um, and such like that. The most rewarding part is seeing that power getting out, seeing the lights on in the horizon. Um, yes, they do go out once in a while, but they come on faster. For the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, I'm Kevin Casey.